and welcome to basic programming rock paper scissors now when I say basic I mean beginners all-purpose symbolic instruction code this is the follow-up video to my basic programming introduction video if you haven't seen that this probably won't make a lot of sense but so go back and watch that first I'll put a link down below first quick shout out to my channel members thank you so much for supporting the channel if you can join down below if not subscribe click the bell and click like thank you everyone so getting started here Real quick, I am using Repolit, and again, this was discussed in the previous video, so this is basically just, I am just finished the last video, moving right into this, just decided to separate it out because my throat was getting sore and I needed to get a drink. So here is uh, Basic Interpreter, and this is a very old school style of Basic Interpreter, and what I want to do is a quick rock, paper, scissors program. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the... REM, which means to, is, is a comment, so I'm going to call this, you know, rock, paper, uh, scissors in basic by at Tokyo EdTech. That is me. And again, uh, I just explained in the previous video what REM means, so if you didn't watch that, watch, go back and watch it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and throw in a command called CLS. Now, I don't think it really works on this version of basic, but it worked on most versions of basic. Let me just check something in settings. Uh, yeah, the font size is large, so hopefully that's coming across in the video. I don't want it too, too big. Um, I want everything on one page. Okay, there we go. So uh, let's go ahead and get started here. So I'm going to go ahead and print uh, the title. So rock paper and scissors. Is it and scissors or just scissors? I'm not sure. Okay. And then so think about the game. What we need to do then is to ask the player to choose. I'm going to say input. And here's how we used to type it. Rock, paper, uh, say or scissors. And then I have to give it a value, or I have to give it to put that into a variable. Okay, so now we are playing against the computer. Okay, so the player, of course, is choosing R, P, or S. The computer, on the other hand, can't do that. The computer has to choose. What we're going to do is we're going to use a random number. So we're going to say let R. It's going to be our random number. Equal int R and D times three parenthesis plus one. What that will do is it will give us a random number from one to three. Or it would be zero to two without the plus one, but I think I find it easier with one, two, and three. So this returns a random number from zero to zero point nine 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 nine. And then we multiply that by three int will take off the decimal part of that so that'll give us either 0 1 or 2 and then we just add 1 to give us 1 2 or 3 okay. so then we just need some if statements so if r equals 1 notice that's one equal sign because we're in basic not python then i'm going to call this computer equals r okay if r equals 2 then computer equals p and if r equals 3, then computer equals s. Now, for the record, I didn't have to convert this to r, p, or s. That was really just a convenience for the, the coding that we're going to do later. Oh, what did I forget? Line numbers. And 60 and 70. And then, so what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and print out what the computer chose. I'll say print the computer chose chose plus computer plus I'll put a period at the end there. Okay, so let's go ahead and test that and see if it's working so far. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit R and the computer chose S. I'm gonna go ahead and test this again. I'm gonna see if all of the options come up. So we got S again. S. Okay. Hmm. Did I make a mistake with my code, or is it just interesting? Um, 
Now it's possible I made a mistake here somewhere with the code, but I don't think I did. Um, okay, the computer shows R, finally, okay. And the only thing we haven't seen is P. So I should probably keep going, but if we have R and S, we'll probably eventually end up with P, there you go. Okay, so it's always, but it's always good practice to test and make sure all the values eventually come out. Okay, so now what we gotta do is we have to deal with all of the possible situations. So I'm gonna go ahead and do, um, let's say, tie game. So this one's kind of the easiest one. So if player equals computer, then print tie. Because if I chose rock and the computer chose rock, and again, I gotta start putting these line numbers back in. It's really, it's really hard to habit to break because I haven't used line numbers though in about three decades. Um, One ten. So we're gonna say R E M. You know, player wins. So I'm gonna go one twenty. So if player equals rock, and computer equals rock beats scissors, then uh, print player wins. The other way the player can win, if player equals scissors and computer equals paper, then print player wins. And sorry, there's actually one more. If player equals, I missed the quotation mark there. I'm not sure why the syntax highlighting is not working. It's really annoying. Uh, rock, scissors, and paper and computer equals rock, then print player wins. Okay. And then now we wanna do the same thing for the if the computer wins. So 140, uh, I am computer wins. Okay, so 150, so if uh, computer equals R, and player equals scissors, then print computer wins. 160, if computer uh, computer equals scissors, I should have done rock, paper, scissors in order, but, and player equals paper, then, so you just, you're just going through each option one at a time, then print computer wins. It's spelled computer wrong there. And our last option is 170. Oops. If computer equals access paper and player platter, pl uh, player equals paper beats rock, then, then print computer wins. Okay, so let's go ahead and play this game. Line 120, so I got 120 twice. Again, this is why we put 10 between. So because I got 120 twice, I'm gonna go ahead and hit one, make that 125. Um, again, this was the, the common way of approaching this problem. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and play with a rock. Computer chose S, player wins. So rock beats scissors. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try paper. Computer chose rock, player wins. I'm liking this game so far. And scissors. Ripple it stopping. What the heck happened there? Uh, let's go ahead and run that. I chose scissors. Computer chose scissors, tie, okay. So it seems like it's working. Now, what we should do is go through and test all the possible values, uh, but we'll just assume that it's working for this particular case. And then the last thing I wanna do is I wanna ask if the player wants to play again. I'm gonna say input play again. And then I might call this, you know, play again. And then 190, if play again equals yes, then it's, then go to, go, go, then go to the start, which is clear screen. So go to line 10. Otherwise, we just end the game, we'll say 200, you know, print. Okay, thanks for playing, something like that. Okay, let's go ahead and try that. So rock, computer chose P, computer wins. 
Uh, play again, yes. Rock, paper, scissors, say P. If you chose P, tie, I don't want to play again. Okay, thanks for playing. So that is it. That's a pretty quick and easy uh, basic program to play rock, paper, and scissors. So those of you that have done rock, paper, scissors with me personally, if you're one of my students, or uh, rock, paper, scissors, I think I have a rock, paper, scissors tutorial somewhere. Um, if I don't, sorry. But you can see how all computer languages, or at least computer languages, have very similar structures. Okay, so we've got print, we've got input, we can set we can set variables to certain values. We have if then. I didn't use it, but we have else. I don't think there's else if in, in this version of basic though. Um, and then we have comments, so if. And then we're able to jump to different parts of the program. Now again, in a modern computer, we might use a while true loop, or we might use functions rather than go to, of course, but the concept remains the same. And the structure is overall the same. So hope you enjoyed that. Um, again, this version of basic uh, has a lot of extra things. It has some graphics and things that you can use. I haven't played around with that. Again, every version of basic, every system had its own little quirks, had its own little things that it could do that the others couldn't, which kind of limited the compatibility. But as long as you stuck the text, mostly things would work the same. Um, it really was a, a golden era in many, many ways. So anyway, thanks for, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, keep on coding. Again, thanks to members. Like, subscribe, or join down below. Thanks so much. Take care.